everyone, Phoenix here, and welcome back to some more Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonus. So, in the previous video, we completed, uh, I'm not sure what the level was, we completed some levels. <laughs> and... You can adjust the game camera using the right analog stick, and to bring the camera behind you, click it. Alright, thanks, you Bentley. Anyway, and now we're going to go ahead and complete this, uh, video, I mean, not video, level. Uh, this is the last level of the hub world, a cunning disguise, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I had a bit of some technical difficulties, and Bentley is going to start talking in like a couple of seconds, and I'll go off into the tangent of what exactly happened, because if you guys couldn't figure it out already, uh, this is post commentary and post commentary is not something that I do, but uh, in this situation, it is necessary. Those rats got pegged. Raleigh appears to have booby trapped this entire place. I'm gonna enjoy this. Don't you get it, Sly? If you step on that rug, forget about becoming a master thief. You'll be a master dartboard. Wait a second. What if I jumped into that barrel for protection? I don't know. It looks pretty risky and very unsanitary. Only one way to find out. Very unsanitary. I love Bentley's voice. Anyway, um, I had some technical difficulties because it's been about, well, this past week, uh, that just passed in June. Um, I didn't have any videos uploaded because I was so busy with scheduling, uh, a lot, getting a lot of stuff done as far as uh, my New Orleans trip that I'm going to be taking, uh, June 17th on Saturday morning, which is, you know, that Saturday morning or whatever, I had a lot of stuff to take care of. So I didn't have any videos uploaded. Um, I only had part three. So far, so good. I bet if you stayed still inside the barrel, the guard won't be able to see you, even if he shines his flashlight on you. Yeah, it's like the cardboard box of, cardboard box of uh, MGS. Anyway, um... I only had part three of Sly Cooper edited and rendered, and I had all of um, Super Mario Bros. All Star Edition, you know, completely rendered and everything. I just didn't upload it up. I don't have uh, access to schedule uploads. Uh, I'm not a partner or anything, or I haven't the app channel hasn't been up there long enough for it. Uh, so I didn't upload any videos. So my computer haven't been turned on about eh, about a good week, week and a half. Like, mainly, I've just been working 12, you know, picking up extra hours for the trip or whatever, trying to maintain all my bills or whatever. And then, um, anytime that I would uh, watch YouTube, I would be either, you know, on um, break on my iPhone or either on my, uh, iPad mini, uh, watching YouTube, you know, at my bedside. Um, well, that's how I've been keeping up with, you know, some of the people that I do watch on, like, um, YouTube or whatever. So I haven't turned it on. So when I finally did turn on my computer, I didn't realize that it was undergoing a scan. And it flowed just fine. Like, my computer is, it got an i5 uh, core processor. So it's not, um... Of course, the i7 is better, but, you know, my computer, it, it runs pretty smooth. It's not a lot on this computer. Just a lot of raw video footage that I need to clean out, by the way. But when it did that scan, it somehow made Audacity a glitchy mess. Because chunks of my commentary was missing. So, it's going to be like this, post-commentary-wise, for the for the next three videos, part four, part five, and part six. Now, after part six, the scan was completed, and part seven and part eight is completely fine. Um, I have recorded up to part eight because when I go to New Orleans, I'm going on the 17th, and I'm coming back uh, on the 20th at like two o'clock in the morning. And as most of you guys know, my work schedule, I work second shift, but some a lot of times I like to stay over for the extra cash, especially now because I spent a lot of money towards this trip, so I'm definitely going to be doing overtime. And the only time I'm able to record is on the weekends, so I pretty much did two weeks worth of Sly Cooper in one day, and 
the scan just messed up most of the recording it didn't mess up the video footage thank god it just messed up the commentary so i'm stuck doing posts for the next three videos which isn't bad it actually kind of takes me out of my comfort zone which i've been trying to step out a lot lately as far as like you know youtube and in my personal life in general like things that i wear like i finally bought my first two rompers ever <laughs> and i actually look pretty good in them and they're actually comfy i see why a lot of women wear them but uh anyway so we're doing post -com for the next three videos sorry about that um yeah so i just wanted to get that out the way and yeah i forgot all about my barrel <laughs> right there and i missed a clue as well and there goes the last clue uh, it's on that string right over there and like I said this was all in the premise of live commentary so excuse me if I make a lot of boneheaded mistakes because I'm looking at this video footage now and I'm like well, what the crap was I thinking um but anyway we're just gonna go ahead and grab the master safe um which is right over there to our right I, I briefly saw it and then after we get the safe we're gonna hop back into our barrel get our treasure key and move on to Raleigh to enter the vault code. With the help of a straight edge and compass, the answer was simple. Dial in 242. Oh, you're lucky, Sly. This page features Karen Cooper Giwa's coin magnet technique. All she had to do was stand near money, and it would magically jump into her purse. From now on, you'll automatically collect any coins you come near. Which I found this power up a little, uh, it wasn't really necessary, because it's not hard to get uh, coins in this game. The actual act of getting them. Um, I like how this game isn't finicky when it comes to coins, like you can just easily sling your cane uh, towards the coins and you can get them with no problem. And I, I like that, uh, I like that about this game. I like it, I hate it how games are, you know, finicky when it comes to collecting the collectathons. Like for instance, if you have Sparks Alive and Spyro the Dragon, if you were close enough to them, Sparks will automatically get them for you. And like Ratchet and Clank, the bolts, you don't have to, you know, run into, you know, the the item directly in order to get it. You know, Ratchet and Clank, they come kind of towards you, you know, it, it just made it, you know, more of a convenience, you know. And I really appreciate that mechanism that the developers did. But now that we have all the treasure keys, we can now go ahead and head towards this cannon which I thought was a catapult <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go ahead and confront Rockley. see the with that top thing coming up I thought that was like a catapult for just a brief second but it's actually a cannon <laughs> so let's go ahead and confront this douchebag get one of the three thievious raccoon as well one of the in-game main story important page of the Thievius Raccoonus. <laughs> How delightful! We have a guest. The only thing is... I hate unexpected guests! Listen, Raleigh. Wipe up my family and steal what's mine? You better expect company. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. How sloppy of me not to finish the job. Obviously, we should have snuffed you out as well. So, without further ado, let me make amends by what? Bloating to gargantuan size and squashing you like the insignificant bug that you are. Bring it on. Alright, our first boss battle against Raleigh. Raleigh is not hard. First phase, he will chase you in the gargantuan size and you can just go up and under like I'm doing. Once he shrinks down to normal size, go ahead and give him one swat of your cane. He's gonna go to the center and eat a bug. And be mindful, um, all the platforms will light up red except the one that you're standing on. 
this is the second part go ahead just go up under him when he go back to normal size hit him again he's going to go to the center get another fly and go back to gargantuan size now this time when he jumps on the platform they're going to light up red um here's the thing there's a certain amount of times that he jumps before he um goes back to normal size like he just did there and it took me about about two or three times to realize that it took it, it's a certain number of times because i was too concerned about the platforms dropping down on me see right there i could have hit him and i didn't and then i realized that like at the last second and i tried to hurry up and hit him but i missed and i think on this time i actually do hit him like i try not to jump too far ahead of him I think I hit him right here. Yeah. Now the last phase, he's going to get another fly. All the platforms going to drop. He's going to drop down in the center and spin his tongue. And you just got to jump over his tongue until he go back to normal size. After he go back to normal size, hit him again and you're done. Blast it all! You've beaten me! Well. Gloat all you want, Sly Cooper. You're no match for Mugshot, my villainous cohort in Utah. You will see. Mesa City is so well guarded, a snake couldn't slither in without setting off alarms. <laughs> Raleigh section of the Thievius Raccoonus held detailed instructions on how to perform my ancestor Ryoichi Cooper's Ninja Spire Jump, a technique he developed while sneaking into the thickly fortified castles of feudal Japan. Finding a way off Raleigh's boat got a little tricky with the untimely arrival of Inspector Fox, who, failing to find me, busted Raleigh and his crew. With the storm machine out of commission, boats found their way back onto the ocean, and the mystery of the Welsh Triangle faded from memory. My gang and I loafed around England for a while, enjoying the pleasant weather, and then headed back home, excited for our next heist. I took the liberty of pinning your mission map up on the wall. You can use it to warp directly to any levels you've already visited. Thank you, Bentley. All right, let's go ahead and head off into Mesa City. We're all City. set to go to Mesa City. Like today. Today, preferably. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it had been a while since I'd been back in the U.S. Next up, the notorious mugshot, ruthless muscle of the fiendish thigh. What he lacked in brains, he definitely made up for in brawn. Turns out he wasn't always that way. He grew up as the run of the litter. A neighborhood weakling. The only friends he could turn to were usually found on the big screen. It was there that he spotted his first gangster, and he knew instantly that that's what he wanted to be. He spent the rest of his youth working real hard to get there, fueled on his dreams of great power and respect. With enough perspiration, he realized that dream. He'd become a hard-boiled, street-brawling, tough-as-nails gangster, ensuring that he'd never be kicked on or pushed around again. Mesa City, huh? I've always wanted to go to that thriving American boom town. Alright. We're actually not going to do anything in this video as far as mugshots turf until the next video. So, I'm, so we're going to go ahead and end the video here. If you would like to see more Let's Plays or Weekend Walkthroughs from the channel, be sure to click on the link in the description below. But until then, you guys take care and have an awesome day.